Welcome everybody to another episode of Uncle John's Arm Wrestling Show. We've got a bit of a, a quick episode today, but I'm fairly confident that this will be very interesting as far as data collection and analysis goes for PRs. Um, today I'm talking about back pressure. So over the last several weeks, I've been talking a lot about how I've been losing weight. I've been trying to maintain all my strength while I do that. Currently, I went from 255 and I'm right around 220, 223. Uh, find out on Monday what I am down to, if I can break that 220 barrier, we shall see. But in the meantime, I need to change my programming. I've been stuck doing the same stuff. I've, I've kind of gotten all over the place because COVID has locked us out of practices, but now we're, we're, table, we're doing table time again. And I just, I need to come back to center. I need to focus on PRs. I need to, to refocus on, on building things back up. And I just been hemming and hawing about what I want to do. But this week, we got some interesting data from some interesting YouTubers, which I thought we would use to start our analysis. So about a week ago, Ryan Bowen, probably the arm wrestler who posts his PRs the most, uh, did a video on strict back pressure. And what I mean by back pressure is that, right? Lots of ways to do it. You can drag your elbow, you can pivot, and you can drop your body. And Ryan posted his weights. A few days after that, uh, Herman Stevens at Herman Stevens 2 on YouTube, he posted a video of himself and Jonathan Breida uh, doing the same movements. Now, it's the same lift, but as you're going to see here in a little bit when we look at the video, it's done a bit differently. Then, just this morning, I saw that 176-pound phenom Greg Gray also did the exact same lifts. So I've compiled all those videos. We're going to watch and see the differences in their style of doing it, because there is a little bit of a difference between all four of the guys, and we'll take a look at their numbers. Now, I'm gonna set these numbers up and we're gonna have a little hierarchy here. So maybe we can get a little competition going. And then uh, we're also gonna see on Monday's training vlog exactly where Uncle John fits in to the back pressure PR list. So let's take a look at the video and see who is top dog when it comes to back pressure. All right, so first things first, we're gonna take a look at each guy doing the lift with lighter weight, uh, just for form's sake. So Ryan Bowen really planting his elbow and then driving backwards, dropping his body a little bit to get the momentum he needs. Now, both Herman and Jonathan Breida are doing a little bit differently where they're really rocking on their elbow. And as the weight goes up, what you're gonna notice is that elbow gets pushed forward in order to help them lose weight. Now, I'm not here to tell you what's right, what's wrong. It's likely that at the end of the day, it's 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 all very similar. And probably the, the thing that's gonna screw us up the most is that people have different setups. Uh, there's a little bit different tension on each type of machine, but who cares? This is for fun. This is a little, little getting as close as we can. Now, Greg Gray did not give us any lightweight uh, video. The man just goes right for the nuts. So you can see him really getting in that, that negative position. And, and here's a cross section of all four of them. We're gonna run this through twice of everyone's form. So you can see that everyone's doing it a little bit differently, but you know, God bless them anyways. Okay, so now we're on to the max lifts. Of, of all four of these guys. So this is Ryan Bowen. His video came out first. He worked his way up, but right-handed, he calls this a good lift. I'm fine with that at 55 kgs or 121 pounds. Here's Herman Stevens' attempt, right-handed. He gets 95 fairly easily on the right, a little bit more difficult on the left, but this is where he stops. He tried again at 115, but uh, it, it was just it was just too much. But I think he can he can definitely go a little higher. Now, Jonathan Breida, just get this, get out of this man's way. 125 pounds. Herman likes it. You know Herman likes it. <laughs> beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. When, when you can lift enough to, to make Herman Stevens crack a smile, you know you're doing pretty good. So Jonathan Breida really getting up there now. I think he's, you know, in the, the 230, 240 range, but what an animal. And speaking of animals, Greg Gray lifting 105 pounds in, in this particular style. Really impressive, because the man is only 
I think 176. So here is our lineup. We got Brita with 125, Bowen with 121, Greg Gray at 105, and Herman Stevens at 95. Now there's no doubt in my mind that, that Herman Stevens can do a little bit more than that, just looking at what his 95 pound lift looked like. But if you go and watch, and by the way, please go watch all these videos. The links will be in the description. Um, you can watch and when Herman makes his lift, he, he he pulls something in his back and then he didn't really continue on from there. So I would believe Herman will get a little higher, but guess what? Herman, we're going to have to see it, buddy. We're going to have to see it. So the one thing I want from you guys in the comments, where do you think Uncle John is going to fit in? Like these are some pretty good guys in North America and obviously Australia. Uh, so I'm interested to see if I can get close. I'll be very, very happy. So there you have it. Our very first lineup of top back pressure guys who are, you know, active on social media. Obviously there are guys who can, you know, do way more than this, but it's just interesting uh, to see where everyone is at. And for me personally, I'm going to be doing the, the back pressure PR for myself on Sunday. So I'll have the results of that in the Monday, Monday training vlog. So check that out. And I, I've done this, this before I've maxed out on my back pressure before, but I, you know, I'm somewhere in between all of those variations. So I think I'm going to try to stick as close as I can to Ryan Bowen's version because I always prefer to stay up as much as I possibly can. And I just want to see where I am uh, in comparison to these guys because everybody on this list is a good freaking arm wrestler, right? So if I can get close, uh, I know at least I'm, I'm heading in the right direction. So stick around on Monday to see where Uncle John fits in on the list. And if you want to be a part of the list, I'm not sure how we're going to do it. I'm not going to just let anybody on the list, but if you're active on YouTube, you have a bit of a following, you know, people know who you are. You want to do the PR? I'll put you on, I'll put you on the list and we will have a running list. And I want to do this with multiple different lifts so I can kind of track myself against other people. And I think it, it'll be something fun. Now, I know that there's the obvious comment that's going to come into the, the, the comment section of, Oh, it doesn't matter how much you can lift. It's what you can do on the table. That is correct. Yes. I think we all know that. I think every guy that I showed in this video would agree that it's not just about how much you can lift. It's about how you can apply those lifts at the table. So keep that in mind with, with all of this stuff and, and take these things with a grain of salt, but it's fun. It's, it's interesting. I like data. I like analysis. And I think if we're going to move forward as a sport, we just need to do more of it. So, Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Maximum effort. Big thanks as always going out to our supporters on patreon.com slash Uncle John's Arm Wrestling Show. Head on over there for exclusive Uncle John content. We've got Pipes McGee, David Sanders, Stan Scott, Roger, Kane Fontecchio, Stacey Morgan, Ready Go Garb, Mizell Jador, Bud Emmer, Ready Go Solutions, Barbarian Arm Wrestling, Jerry Mill, John Milne, and of course, Arm TV's Gary Roberts. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Come on back on Monday at 4 p.m. Atlantic for the training vlog number three. You're going to see if Uncle John got his weight in order for the week. And also, how much can Uncle John use for back pressure? Maximum effort, everybody.